Well, Alicia, according to national surveys, it's COVID stress related and it's really pushed some educators over the edge. Now, some of them feel overworked, underpaid and in some cases unsafe. And right here in the East Point Community School District, there are 43 open positions. With the shortage of teachers, everybody is in a scramble. Lincoln Stocks is union president for the East Point Federation of Educators. Last week, he told us teachers are getting poached by districts who can pay more. Staffing wise, it's filling one hole and leaving another and oftentimes in a less financially sound district. We realize that there's a crisis here and we're going to do our best to address that crisis, but we also can't, um, you know, we, we can't destroy the economic viability of the district. On the week of September 20th, two teachers at East Point Middle School just up and quit without giving any notice. The district's website clearly showing the problem has been brewing for some time. A long list of open positions, mostly jobs available for teachers. The superintendent says over 20% of their teaching positions are vacant. So we have some who are going to other positions uh, in education, so going to other school districts. We have other people who are leaving education altogether. According to a June survey of nearly 2,700 members of the National Education Association, 32% said the pandemic pushed them to leave the job earlier than expected. Another survey done by the RAND Corporation says now one out of four teachers are considering quitting after this school year. East Point Middle School now a troubling example of what the future could hold for districts across the United States. Now the East Point uh, Community School District says they have brought in three new members, staff members here at the middle school, and they say there are a few more new hires in the pipeline. Live in East Point, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News.